Dark Towers in Look and Read. Come with me, yes, come with me to Dark Towers. Who can tell what we shall see in Dark Towers? Dust and cobwebs everywhere Footsteps on the winding stair Mystery is in the air In dark towers In the garden, in the hall Through the arch behind the wall Come and listen to the call Of dark towers Tracy was a loner. She thought boys were daft. Now she thought girls were daft. She thought football was daft. Now she thought dolls were daft. What she liked was Towser. Her dog, Towser, was her best friend. Tracy and Towser liked going for long walks. Sometimes they walked all day to places Tracy had never seen before, but Towser could always find the way home. Then one day, they came to a wild garden. Towser? Towser, come back here. What are you doing in my garden? You gave me a fright. See my dog? Do you know who I am? No. Who are you? I am Lord Edward Dark of Dark Towers, and I order you to leave. This boy is crackers. I'm waiting. Oh, sorry, my lord. Can I just find my dog first, please? We didn't mean any harm, honestly. Are you sure that's all you wanted? Yes. Very well, then. I shall help you look for him, to show you there's no ill will. I think he must have gone round that way. Then let me lead the way. Your name, please. Tracy. Tracy Brown. Follow me, Tracy Brown. You talk like a book, you do. Why do you talk like a book? I read a lot of books. I like books better than people. Ah, like me and dogs. Thing. Mine, I told you. Crackers, must be. Poor chap. Look, there he goes. Edward, wait for me. Crackers or not, he can run. Look out! Hello, my name's Wordy, 
and you're all my word watchers. It's good to see you all. Did you like the beginning of the look and read story we've just seen? Do you remember what it's called? Dark Towers, that's it. Oh, sounds a bit mysterious, doesn't it? Wow. Well, as you can see, this is a children's library. And I'll just tell Jenny you're here. She's in charge. She's the librarian. <whistles> hey, Jenny, the word watchers are here now. This is Jenny Jackson. Hello. Glad to see you. Uh, I'll just show you around our library, shall I? Now, this is a library specially for children. So, of course, it has lots of books in it I think children will like. Let me show you. Now, here's a big collection of nothing but story books. Hmm? And, uh, oh, over there, where I was just now, that's information books. In those books, you'll find out everything you've ever wanted to know. Uh, well, yes, nearly everything. And now, uh, look, come over here and see this. This is where we keep all our picture books. Down here? Ah, now this is where we keep books like dictionaries. Oh, I expect you've got dictionaries in your classroom. And we've also set up some things in this library, especially for look and read. Look, word watchers. Here are all the look and read books. Oh, yes, and here's the book of this story, Dark Towers. Ooh. Dark Towers by Andrew Davies. Andrew Davies is the person that wrote the story for you. Let's look inside the book, Jenny, and see the people in the story. <laughs> all right, then, Wordy. Now, look. <clears throat> Who's this? Yes, it's Tracy. And this is her very best friend, Towser. <laughs> oh, I'd love a dog like Towser, wouldn't you? And this is Edward. And where does Edward live? In a huge old house called Dark Towers. That's it. And we've got a song, a naming song, about Tracy, Towser and Edward. Tracy's a loner, she thinks boys are daft, she thinks girls are daft, and she thinks dolls are daft. Her dog's called Towser, and he's her best friend. What she likes best is Towser. Towser's a friendly dog, white with black ears. He'll go for long walks, and he'll find the way home. When he's excited, he gives a loud bark. And his best friend is Tracy. Edward says his name is Lord Edward Dark. He talks like a book, but can run like the wind. Tracy thinks Edward is crackers, quite crackers. He says he likes books more than people. Do you remember in the story, Edward asked Tracy her name, and she said, Tracy, her first name. Then she said her second name, her family name. What was that? Tracy Brown. But Towser's name is just Towser on its own. Yes. Uh, my first name is Jenny, and my second name, my family name, is Jackson. What's Edward's family name? His family name is Dark. Ah, but there's something different about Edward's name, isn't there? Yes, he's called Lord Edward Dark. Oh, there's posh for you. And what do we know about Tracy? Let's have a look. Read it with me. Tracy was a... Loner. The word loner means alone, on your own, being by yourself a lot. But Tracy wasn't really on her own, was she? Because Towser was her best friend. Ah, oh, yes, quite right. Let's find out some more about Tracy and Towser from the book, shall we? Read everything you see out loud.
a word But don't take fright Have a go You might be right Look ahead Look behind See what clues You can find Use your head Think it out What's the sentence All about She heard a Something must be a kind of sound. Have a guess. Voice. Mm -hmm. She heard a voice. Still in doubt. Look at the letters and check it out. Voice. She heard a voice. With a word you don't know. The main thing is... Word watchers, come and see my book cave. I've got something to show you. Here we are. Oh, it's good, isn't it? Wordy's book cave. <laughs> now, what's this is a quiz game where you tell me the name of what you see when you see it, all right? First thing coming up now. Read the word, word watchers. Wheels. Good. And on to the next thing. Ah, it's more difficult this time. And what does that say? Whistle. Oh, good, good. And now on to some sounds. Oh, what's the sound and the word, word watchers? Whispering. And on to the next one. What's the sound and the word? Whining. I wonder if Towser ever whines. Hey, by the way, what colour were all the words? White, that's it. <laughs> now, tell me, what sound did all those words begin with? Yes? <laughs> There's something a bit ghostly about that letter H when I say it, have you noticed? You can't hear the H, or it's very faint. In some parts of the country, people say words beginning with WH like this. When? Why? Where? Now, where or where is my pencil and paper? You didn't know I was an artist, did you? Hello? 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 Oh, hello. Wordy told me he was going to take you down into his book cave. What did you do? Oh, words beginning with WH. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see what message Wordy has left for me. Read it with me. Don't wait for me, Wordy. Oh, good. Wordy's remembered to put the full stop. You need a capital letter at the beginning, and when you finish the sentence, full stop. Ah, now we've got a song about that in our Look and Read songbook. I'll just see if I can find it. Da -da 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 ah! Look, there's Mr. Big. He makes sure that there's always a capital letter at the beginning of a sentence. And here is Mrs. Full Stop, the lollipop lady. She always checks that there's a full stop at the end. Think big, big, big at the beginning. Put a capital first and you're winning. Think big, think big, think big. Lollipop, when you finish the sentence, full stop, full stop, full stop, full stop. Think big, big, big at the beginning. When you finish the sentence, full stop. Ah! 
Yes. Oh, you didn't Wordy. wait for me, did you? No, Mordy, you left that message good. saying don't wait. Did you do the capital letter and full stop song? Yeah, we've just oh, been doing good, the song. Oh, good, good. Let's have another look at that first chapter of the book all of right. Dark Towers. All right, all right, Wordy. You'll read it out loud, won't you? Tracy Brown. I'm looking for my dog. Who are you? Lord Stark. Oh no, not another one. But look, what about that boy? He said he was Lord Dark too. Edward is my son. Oh, yeah. Listen, if you two are lords, why is this place so scruffy? <laughs> Well, some lords are poor. I'm an artist. Not much money in that. This house was left to us. Oh. It's a very old house. Some people say it has ghosts. You're not scared of ghosts, are you? Of course not. This man used to live here hundreds and hundreds of years ago. The tall knight of dark towers. Some people say they've seen his ghost walk around the walls. Everywhere, footsteps on the winding stairs. 